Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we have a viewer submission. Thanks to PH, we're going to be going over Lunar Blood and Twilight Insurgency. Now, New Jersey Death Metal on Pulverized Records. Now, normally, I don't like doing kind of negative-ish reviews, but this is just not my thing. It's just... I, I don't know. I can't get into it. I, I've tried, and I, it just falls flat. Like... I don't know. There's just a lack of riffs. I know that sounds weird, and I'm not trying to be a dick, but it kind of just sounds like a lot of, like, just kind of, like, wet noodle guitar. I, I'm sorry. It's just not my thing. Like, the, the dissonant stuff, like, I'd rather just listen to Suffering Hour. That's just how I feel about it. There's some cool parts, but like at the end of the day, it's kind of boring. Also, like I don't know, it just didn't do a goddamn thing for me. They have a cool name, but like, yeah, I mean, and I, I know they're like. Like they have, like, the all cops are bastard type thing. Uh, I know they're, like, like real anti, uh, like, sketchy shit and stuff. But, like, I know there's uh, guest vocals on here from uh, Organ Dealer. And I knew this off the top of my head. Sunrot. Uh, I, I knew it. So, that, like, that's cool having, you know... Like, Sunrock's real sick. But, I don't know. This is one of those bands I didn't even really know existed. And then, I, I know they're in other bands, though. But, um, it was recorded and mixed in Backroom Studios in Rockaway, New Jersey. Mastered by Brad Boatwright at Audio Siege. And, like, the production is really good obviously it's brad boatwright it's fucking audio siege come on but all songs written and performed by lunar blood like jacob kruger his vocals are probably the standout of this recording like the drumming also but the guitars i'm sorry i just I'd rather listen to something else. And, like, I saw... I'm sorry, this is not war metal. Like, I, I saw in their band camp, it said war metal. I was like... No. Sorry, but... Like, I, I get... I, I know what you're going for, and I hear it, but I'm sorry. Nah. I it, Like... If I want to listen to some bestial black death, I'm going with ASM. Like, that's just normally how it is. But, like, adding it with, like, death metal and then still considering yourself New Jersey hardcore is just confusing. Like, I, I don't know. What type of music is this at the end of the day <laughs> in their minds? Because to me, it's just mediocre death metal, and I apologize. But that's just, like, the cover art is fantastic. I mean, the red mohawk guy, it's kind of like, where's Waldo? He's very easy to see. But I like the cover art. I'm guessing these are fascist cops based on how they're dressed. Kind of looks like uh, a bunch of carnivore fans fighting uh, people that, you know, aren't cool with carnivore.
We can look at the record like that if you want. I mean, but nah, I don't. I don't care about the politics. I mean, you know how I feel about that stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't want to get into when it comes to death metal. I'm sorry. Like, I want my politics left at home. That's just me. Like, I want to hear about you know kind of fantasy sometimes but when you go into reality and stuff I don't want to hear about politics I want to hear about like you know like a band like Greek I know they're coming to Greek now but like I'm talking OG Greek like go read the lyrics to Earthworm and it's like oh my goodness but like like, some of the lyrics here, like, they're fucking cool. And again, like, I'm going with, like, Jacob with vocals, but we also have uh, Mark Galano on guitar and vocals. So, like, but both vocalists sound good. Like, I like the vocals on here. But some of the lyrics on here, like, Drenched in your blood, A-C-A-B. Drenched in your blood, A-C-A-B. Full moon is out. I ride till dawn. Snouts on my hips. Blood on my lips. See what I mean? Like, it's not like we're listening to His Hero is Gone, where I would expect something like that. And, like, we have Drop Dead 1993 coming to the channel. So, like, that is something where obviously lyrics like that really belong. In death metal, I I get it. You know, it's cool to put that in there because not many other bands are going to do that. But it just... I, I really... the There's just nothing that really catches my attention in the guitar category. Like, all I hear is just... Like, I don't hear anything that's like, whoa, that was fucking sick. Like, nah, I, I'm sorry, but nah. Like, I'm trying to think, like, like the one track, uh, gastrointestinal, gastrointestinal industrial complex, like, that's a cool track. But, like, it's just, again, it feels like it's missing something. It just feels like they were a little bit confused about the direction they were going. But, I, I don't know. I, I could see people liking this. That's why I chose to go over it. Because, also, I didn't want it to go to waste and stuff, and... I really tried listening to it, you know, more than my usual, and I just, I can't get into it. Like, this stuff, I don't even know what's going on. It's just not my thing. And I, I know, I listen to some fucked shit, but, like, it's just not my cup of tea. Like, it's just, and... You know, you're talking to somebody that listens to Tibetan bell music where it's as minimal as it gets. I'm bored. Like, to me, this is just kind of... I mean, good for Lunar Blood. That, that's sick. But I'll, I'll pass. Like, I'm glad. I'm sorry, but like, I'm glad I didn't pay for this. I know that sounds like an asshole thing to say, but I'm being honest. I mean, it comes on a nice <laughs> vinyl variant, but yeah, the tunes, they're just not my thing. Like, yeah, I'm sorry. It, like, I, I tried to. Like, it's not like I'm just hating. Like, I'm not hating. I respect, you know, the hustle, and obviously this was a lot of work. Like, the, the songwriting, I just feel like I wish there was just more riffs that actually jumped out at you instead of like 
just kind of like I'm sorry, and I know this sounds like a, but like it sounds like kind of like noodling, like I don't know. I I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a dick, but it's just the only term I really know for what I'm trying to explain. Cause like, and some of you might be like, wait, but how how do you write a song without riffs? I'm talking about memorable riffs that like actually make you come back and it's like oh yo there's that riff at like 350 in like that's the shit i'm talking about and like just for example uh like let me just find like a quick just like bombardment of gnarly riffs <laughs> heartburn sorry ah uh, that sucked all right, fucking right in front of me is a great example of just how riffs are so important in death metal, and that's the fetid demo. Like, yes, it's disgusting. Everything about this is just grade A, top shelf death metal, and that's the type of death metal I'm honestly into. That's the shit I want to hear. Like, I want to hear... Stuff like necropsy odor, you know? I That's just my cup of tea. And when it comes to, you know, the more, like, dissonant, kind of weird death metal, I'd rather just listen to Blood Incantation and that front, like, and just... Because they cover all those bases for me and more, and I actually really enjoy, you know, Time Wave Zero, obviously, because I'm... You know, not a close-minded fucking person. And that's the thing I really want to get across here. Because if you watch this channel, you know I'm not close-minded. And, I mean, like, here's Nine Inch Nails broken. Fucking Karma Moffat integrity. Like, just so I can get this out real quick, if you're new to the channel. Like, this is, like, straight-up hippie ambient, you know chill shit so and also integrity so don't go and say oh you just don't like the, the, the. no 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 it's just not my thing like i'm sorry but i can't i can't like everything there's a lot of releases that don't make the channel but Somebody went out of their way and bought the actual LP. I felt like I had to go over it. And I feel bad that I didn't really like it. I actually didn't like it at all, to be honest with you. But, you know, again, the vocals, really cool. The drums, really good. But the riffs. We also have Chris Ward. I know that name. On drums and vocals. Because all the vocals on here are great. I can barely hear the bass though. Uh, Seth Kaplan. And uh, Nick Zurin on guitar. And then the one vocal guy. Mark on guitar. But. Um, yeah I don't know. It's just kind of. Wasn't my thing. I'm sorry. Lunar Blood. With. I didn't even say. Twilight. Insurgency, that's the name of the release. Trying to see if there's anything on the cover besides this scene of like a post apocalyptic war. Like, like I said, you know, like that's kind of cool. And this looks like a fucking carnivore cover, like I said. I think the dude even has that like carnivore sigil on his uh thing i don't know though i'm just kind of throwing that out there i don't know if there's like symbolism here because i know these this band's like very politically correct and stuff like that so uh, they would obviously not be in the carnivore i, I would think i mean i uh, i don't know I don't know why I'm even getting into that, but that's just, I don't know, that was the first thing that popped in my head when I saw these guys on the cover. I was like, are those, is that like a reference to Carnivore? 
I, I don't know. If it is, like, I kind of understand the, the um, stance here, because, I don't know, Peter Steele <laughs> and Colin Young, I know you love Peter, if, if, if you're watching this, I know you're, you're not, but come on, Peter did some, some shitty stuff in his life, man. I'm sorry, rest in power, but like, I don't, I'm not going to get into it, but anyways, if you're looking for some killer dissonant death metal, I wouldn't go into New Jersey's Lunar Blood, but I know a lot of you are going to love this and be like, what the fuck did you like about it? I, it just, I, it, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. It happens, I'm sorry. Like, it's not something like, you know, where I've been looking for years, like, you know, the Head Rot compilation. It's nothing like that. Or, like, even Immolation, the new Immolation. That destroys this. But for, you know, the new wave of American death metal, definitely, like, a mid-tier yeah, I don't know, like a $10 gram, I'm sorry, but yeah, but the vinyl does sound great, the production, Brad Boatwright, Audio Siege, you're always going to get killer production, and pulverized records, I don't know if anybody did a cassette, CD, anything, but these guys do not like the police, I mean, I don't like the police either, but yeah, I don't write about it in my death metal, though. And I've tackled the whole entire Kensington <laughs> market in Prison Coward and used metaphors because I didn't want it to be on the nose like this. I wanted people to kind of use their imaginations and use their minds to kind of, you know, be like, oh, that's what he means by that. Like, because I used all sorts of, you know, I, like, I love my little thesaurus. It's right here. This is my baby. And sometimes I need words. And this bad boy comes in so much fucking handy when I'm writing song lyrics. Because I don't want lyrics like A-C-A-B. I'm sorry. Like, if I was to write that, it would be like... You know, police state, emergency, I don't know, but can't you see you're killing me? Like, I don't know, that rhymes, but like, that's still too on the nose. It would have to be like, police presence on the streets, living day, beat by beat, I don't know, I'm on the street, I'm rhyming. Because I'm nickel and diamond. I'll just shut shut up. <laughs> yeah, it just, I don't know. It wasn't my thing. I, I don't know. It's confusing. But at the same time, again, I know some of you are going to like New Jersey's Lunar Blood and Twilight Insurgency. Definitely check it out. Links will be in the video description. It's because... It's my, it's just my opinion, so, you know, and I've been listening to some, some gnarly shit, so, you know, especially, yo, don't sleep on this, Headsput has this on a 7 inch of this, like, if you're looking for some real gnarly stuff, this has Rob from Fornicator in it, yeah, so, you know, I've been listening to some, some sick shit, and, it just came into my life at kind of the wrong time. I, and, you know, maybe I'll, I'll like it in a few months. But it's kind of up there with this split. I've also not reviewed this because I can barely make it through the first track. I just can't. I, I, I don't, it just doesn't do, again, it just. I'll go over it eventually, but like, look. That's as far as I've made it in, like, a couple months. I, I just, I get bored as shit, and I, I apologize. But, sigh. 
It happens. You know, not all gifts to the channel can be fucking, you know, like macabre Dahmer, you know? So I, it's fine. I don't mind doing a negative review every so often. And it also goes to show you folks that I'm not just a yes man. Because I know some people say, why do you always just do good reviews? Because I want to give you folks the best fucking music out there. I don't want to give you anything mediocre. So if I go over something mediocre and I call it out, I apologize. And it might not be mediocre to you. It's just my fucking opinion. So it doesn't matter. You might love Lunar Blood. And that's fucking fine. I don't care. Enjoy Twilight Insurgency. It's just, like I said, if I'm feeling like listening to something like this, I'll just listen to Suffering Hour. But that's just me. Like I'm, I, I have that choice. And this just doesn't really do it. And I'm going to shut the fuck up about it. But, again, there's tracks on here I know some of you are going to like, but also it drags out its presence. Again, if this was all just, like, killer, it'd be, diff it'd be a different story. Like, I wish this was an EP, then maybe it would be fucking really sick, but it's not. It's just, it feels drawn out, and I'm just going to shut the fuck up. Lunar Blood from New Jersey. It's just not my cup of tea. But, uh, you get Purified Rot, The Hammer, Gastrointestinal Industrial Complex. Yolating in the Depths. Sorry, I butchered that one. Wrath March, Parliament of Trees, Nod, God of the Trainwreck, and Pig Hunter. Yeah. Lunar Blood and Twilight Insurgency. Check it out and enjoy. And we got the patron picks in for this month. They are gnarly. Uh, I need to grab Integrity System Overload. That That's the next record I'm going to buy. But everything's been ordered. It, it's fucking sick. That's all I'm going to... I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I'll let the patron account know what was ordered and everything, but I really don't want to spoil it because we have some bangers coming to the channel. So get stoked. And thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Thank you again, Pat, for uh, bringing this over. Uh, yeah, sorry. I just didn't really enjoy it, but... Pulverized Records, Lunar Blood with Twilight Insurgency, I would give this a 4.5 out of 10. Sorry, but that's just, yeah, like I just wouldn't go out of my way to listen to it, so I apologize. But that's just the fucking fact. I'm not gonna make you folks go buy a record that I think is mediocre. But again, it's just my opinion, that's why the links are in the video description. Thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Hails. Bloody.